Okay, kids, um, we are going to practice a one-point perspective room, and we're going to just need a sheet of paper for this and a pencil and an eraser. So if you want to keep your tab open for um, drawing this, um, you can refer to the images that are on this paper. Okay, so just take a blank sheet of paper, and I'm going to be drawing this a little bit smaller because... I'm using the width of my note card here, so um, let's see how large I can make this square. Now, if you have something that's a you know half the size of a sheet of paper and a square, then that's great. But this, I'm gonna do the best I can. So I'm going to compare the length of these two sides. So I'm making a square the best I can. Just using a note card. Okay, so this is the alternative to page six, and this is if you do not have a printer. So I have a nice little square to begin with, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna line up where this goes to the corner. So this doesn't quite make it, but we can kind of figure it out, okay? So if you have something longer that reaches, that'd be great. Um, if I actually took another sheet of paper, that would work as well. So just from corner to corner, creating a very light X. And let's just double check with this makeshift line and see how accurate we can make it. Okay, so is a big change there. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, so with this X, the next thing you're going to do is create a box within the box. And we're going to mark it. Okay, so we can figure out how to get this box in the center there. It's very important. Okay, so this line is not going to stay, but this is our box. Okay, so inside that box, I want you to take out the X, just checking for accuracy. All right, so that is our back wall of our room. Okay, it's a big room. All right, so we're gonna give the room a door and a window and a wooden floor. So let's begin with the door. So our door has to be parallel to these two lines. So go ahead and take your straight edge or your note card and let's go ahead and experiment with putting in a door. So I'm going to draw, oops, my first line. I kind of messed up there. Go ahead and draw your first line. All right, and I like to draw, now the top of this has to be parallel to this line here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my second one in, and so I want all of these lines to be parallel. So this one does not quite look parallel. Okay, that can be kind of a problem. So let's see how we can fix that. Just doing the best we can here. Having a perfect square on the outside is really going to be the main indicator of your accuracy, but if you're not having a printer to print it out, then just do the best you can. Okay, so this is our top of the door line that needs to be parallel. So I'm going to line that up and see how well I can make this work. Okay, so the door does have a little bit of trim. So I think since it looks like a big door, I would rather go 
on the inside, then the outside, and give my door some trim. Okay, so there is my door, and I'm going to give it a doorknob. This line does not look parallel, so I'm going to correct that one. Okay. Alright, so our next step is to put in a window, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use this side as the parallel, and... Go ahead and draw in my first parallel side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the second parallel side. I'm going to line it up. Now, the second parallel side might be a little bit longer because this vertical edge is closer to us than this one. If you think about how long the line is towards the back of the room. Kind of looks like the window is really close to the corner. All right, so if I were to create this from here, look what happens. Our window gets even bigger. Okay, let's make sure this is parallel. Minor adjustment. Okay, so, you know, as long as you're trying, I'll be able to see it in your work. Okay, so there is our window. Our window has a little bit of trim as well. Let's go ahead and give our window that trim. Okay, so um, the next thing we need to do is put in our wood floor. Now that is the center of the X, which is going to determine the um, where the wood floor panels go. And actually, it's not wood floor, it's checkered floor, excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put my center line in first, okay? Makes me feel most comfortable. Okay. Checker flooring is really important when doing perspective, so I'm glad they put it in. Alright, so it kind of starts off looking like wood panels. So notice that everything, or every line here, starts on this vanishing point and comes out with you know, the best you can do with equal spacing. This doesn't look equal right here, but I haven't, I'm gonna have to go back there and fix that. Let's see. The best you can do with equal spacing. So you get to the corner. So I'm holding it here at the vanishing point and just pivoting it off to the side. Okay, so I think that those lines look pretty good. Let's go ahead and start from the closest to the viewer base of the floor to put in our first horizontal line. Now these are going to get slightly closer together as we go.
you might have to plan for this. We don't always get something on the first try. We have to try different approaches. Oops, look, I missed my edge of the wall. Okay, so there is our room. Um, if you wanted to, you could add another window back here. Put a little view outside. Okay, so here's our room. Please don't forget to put your name in the corner and upload this as page six to Schoology. Thank you for watching.